everyone. Hi. Hi. Uh, today we're going to be looking at nostalgia stuff. So basically what I did is I asked you guys on Discord what makes you nostalgic. It could be a commercial. It could be a toy. It could be a show, a game, whatever. And I asked you to just put whatever, you know, you're nostalgic about in a little Discord server chat. And I'm going to go through them. So it's going to be full, chuck full of things that you sort of remember, but don't remember. And then you're gonna be like, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember that. That's that's pretty much gonna be it. <laughs> Betty Crocker bake and fill infomercial. All right. Here's some I think I remember this one. From Betty Crocker. It's the most exciting thing you can do with the inside of a cake. Introducing the Betty Crocker. Oh my God, okay, cake. I do a remember this vividly. new pan that lets you prepare a cake with all kinds of delicious fillings. Imagine the look on your child's face when you cut into the- God damn it, why is Chet so dark? Oh man, sorry. <laughs> I can't even see you guys. Okay, this is the last time. It's black text for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Okay, change it to text color white. Save. All right. Now we're officially good. Okay, moving on. Cake, and there's his favorite flavor of ice cream or her favorite gelatin. And who wouldn't enjoy a cake filled oh, yeah. with delicious fresh fruit? The secret Doesn't is that look fucking disgusting? I always thought this looked so gross. Like, it li I don't know why this looks gross. Like, don't get me wrong, fruit and cake are good together. But, like, just cramming that mesh of fruit in there, it's got to be, like, soggy... And it's just not good. You, fruit is good for like a topping on a cake. Not this shit. A cake filled with delicious fresh fruit. The secret is these yeah, three the gelatin separate does sections. Look bad too. Just pour your favorite Betty Crocker cake mix into the main bacon fill pan and lock on this special inner chamber. Now pour more cake mix into this the base special pan inner and put chamber. them both into bake. <laughs> when they're done, remove the insert, add your filling to the center cavity and cover it with a base. In Damn. no time, you'll have the greatest cake you ever made. Making I wonder how many old people my bought Betty Crocker this. bacon fill is so easy. And everything's non-stick, so there's no messy cleanup. These are the kind of desserts you buy in the finest restaurants. Ice cream cakes, Italian filled. The finest restaurants. Torts, even baked Alaska. Or you the fuck? You can simply fill your cake with a different Betty Crocker cake mix. Just fill the inner chamber instead of the base. Now make all your cakes extra special. Make them Betty Crocker bacon fill cakes. You'll get See, I feel like the reason this sucks is because it's just too much filling. Like, that's like, that's at least 50, that might be 60% of the cake. I feel like they should have lowered the amount, you know? Crocker bacon fill cakes. That's just too You'll much. You'll get the bacon too fill much. pan, the inner chamber, and the base pan, complete with instructions and Betty Crocker recipes. All for only $19.95. $19.95? But that's back. a steal! Call now and we'll also include this special dome a pan. A special bonus! holiday cakes like this. Or give your young baseball hero a celebration what? he'll never forget. It's yours free. Just pay shipping and free! Plus, oh we'll my give God. you over $5 worth of coupons. Good for your favorite coupons. general mail products so don't delay order your betty crocker you know they know their fucking target audience when it has to do with coupons bacon fill now to order your betty crocker bacon fill for 1995 plus shipping and handling call 1-800-765-2564 or send check or money order to betty crocker bacon fill to morgan avenue norway all right next one rainbow art tv spot okay this one i remember for sure are you ready for the new Rainbow Art set? Introducing yeah! the brand new Deluxe Kit. Easily make awesome rainbow effects in one simple stroke. And with the new Rainbow... Did anyone else want this? Who in chat actually wanted this? Okay, I, I kind of wanted this. I didn't want this. I'll be honest. I wanted it. Yeah. I'll be real. I had it. Art set. You can do more than ever before. Simply move the blocks and the colors of the rainbow. Every drawing is incredible. Just switch the colors. It was and ass. Run wild. 
Mickey Mouse. Okay, okay you want to know the- why I think it's probably shit? Is because, like, it it doesn't go on that well. It looks like, you know, it's, like, very saturated in paint. That's not what it's going to be. It's going to be, like, really dry and just not... It's going to smear. The possibilities are endless. It's still as easy as dip, dab, and draw. Forget all those paints. With Rainbow Art, look, no splatter, no drips, and the colors dry in No drip! You can create a multicolored motorcycle in no time. With the new Rainbow Art set, it's easier and better than ever before. And now you'll also get this awesome mega brush. Wow, you can paint all six colors at once. A mega brush? Amazing color combinations. More colorful than ever before. But the fun doesn't stop there. We'll also include the new UV glow in the dark colors. They're awesome. What? Easily create cool 3 Okay, if that actually worked, that would be cool as shit. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna lie. That's that's sick. Glow. You can draw almost anything with rainbow art. And now you choose the colors you like best. And with this new carrying case, you can take it everywhere. You get the new spill-proof water tray, six changeable colors, two sets of brushes, plus the new mega brush, and the UV glow-in-the-dark color. Damn, all for nineteen ninety-five? Wait, I didn't get to see there. No, how much? How much? Oh, man. Oh, it's Fushigi! Fushigi! You're about to be mesmerized. It's here. It's wild. It's sweeping the nation. It's Fushigi! This fuck, dude, this fucking guy is so hyped up for this ball. Fushigi! Damn! Fushigi, like, I don't know what it is, but it's the coolest thing ever, and I can do it. Hi, I'm Tim Goey, and this is Fushigi. We're gonna show you how to unlock the secrets of Fushigi, the magic gravity ball. No strings, no tricks. Magic, maybe. An illusion, you decide. You can make Fushigi defy gravity and appear to fly in I want in Fushigi mid-air. so bad. Anyone, like anyone pro- got Fushigi? Did they even had names for, for like, sk- not skills, but like moves. They had, they had move names. Fucking prayer cross? The f- what the fuck is that? Prayer cross? It wasn't anything special? Prayer cross, the enigma, levitation, and so many more. It floats, it levitates, it will confuse the senses with its mind-blowing movements. Young or old, big or small, anyone can push- <laughs> Just the girls just- Whoa, dude! <laughs> from the minute they pick up the magic gravity ball and with a little practice you can conquer Fushigi dude imagine imagine going to an actual class to learn how to do Fushigi it's fabulous just a weighted ball no it's just a ball inside of a ball I get it now everyone loves Fushigi and you don't have to be a magician it's relaxing even therapeutic Best of all, it's just amazing. Dude, she looks like she hates her fucking life. Do you, is that his daughter? You know what? I wonder if that's his daughter. And he forced her to, like, practice the Fushigi for the commercial. She's like, God fucking damn it. What am I doing with my life? Just amazing. It floats. It's awesome. Fushigi. <laughs> From basic maneuvers to the advanced... Even control more than one Fushigi at a time. Balls! You can do this! Mystify, amaze, and confuse your friends in just minutes. Now it's your turn to master Fushigi. Fushigi! It's sick. It's so much fun. I love it. It's amazing! I love it! Me too! My grandson, he's 16. He would love one of those. I want to buy it now. My grandson would love one. Call now to order Fushigi, the magic gravity ball, for only $19.99. Oh, and when you order, we'll send you a free DVD that will teach you everything you need to know. Yo, hold up. Where can I get that to DVD? To unlock the secrets of Fushigi. Just pay processing. Call now. Where can I get that DVD? That's the question. All right, next. Oh, okay. I remember these. That those were those were a trend for a little bit that people thought were funny to put the eyeballs in the th- my sister had one of these. I remember those. Check eBay. 
Hold up. Wait, you could still buy them on Amazon? You can still buy them on Amazon. How much is it? 40 bucks. I thought it was 19.95. Okay, what's the real price of it? Wait. They didn't say the price. Okay. Fushiki stream incoming. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Hamtaro. Okay, I I have heard of this, but I I don't got any nostalgia for this. I never watched this when I was younger. But I have heard of this though. Anyone else? Hamtaro? You still know the full scene the you still, uh, you still know the full, my favorite Overwatch hero? Yeah. I forget the name of this show. Wait, how old is this? Is, isn't this a newer show? Or am I crazy? How old is this show? Shinchan? What year was the show? I don't remember. I, I I know what, like, I've seen it before. But, like, what? Is this, like, I thought this was a newer. Maybe it's not. No one's answering me. It's a classic Japanese kid cartoon, but it got localized to a more adult audience on Adult Swim. Oh, it was Adult Swim. That's where I've seen it. Okay, all right. That makes sense. Tomb Raider? Which one did I play? <clears throat> I think I played the original one. I think. Yeah, I think I played the original one. And I remember I got stuck at a part and then, for and then gave up. Triangular Women <laughs> Booba? Damn! Look at those PlayStation 1 graphics! Reading Writing Hotline. Aussie 2000s? Oh, this is Aussie, okay. So I won't get this. Maybe, maybe some chatters will get this. Here are some brilliant news for adults who have difficulties with spelling, reading a newspaper or phone bill, or writing letters and emails. It can be easier to improve your reading and writing skills than to keep putting it off. Take the plunge. Call the Reading Writing Hotline. 1-300-655-06. 1-300-655-06. I can see how that could be memorable with that little tune. Okay, so people, okay, so some people remember it. Okay. We got some Aussies in here. All right, what's this? 2000s nostalgia on TikTok. All right. So I assume it's going to be a, a compilation of stuff. Sounds every 2000s kid knows. All right, let's see this. Play. Okay, yep. For sure. This terrified the fuck out of me when I was younger. This scared the living shit out of me when I was younger. <clears throat> Coming, Coming soon, soon to, own to, on DVD and to video. own on DVD. Okay, I was, I was, I was, I'm used to the theater one. Okay. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Dude, the PlayStation 2 sound is so good. Is he gonna do it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The Disney DVD. Wait, 
Wait, which which console was that on? The, the Nintendo DS? Hmm. Halo. Fitness That's all I think about when I see that. It's a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. It's www.pillowpets.com. Pillow pets. Adopt your pillow pet today. It's a pillow pet! Hell yeah! DreamWorks. Do, 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 do. That was, that was good. That was good. That had some good moments. That had some good ones in there. All right, let's see. This is a little old, but my mom used to play this for me all the time when I was a kid. And then I watched it with my little brother when he was born. This clip in particular always made me so thirsty. I really wanted to drink this blue rats glitter jungle juice when I was nine. This blue rats glitter jungle juice. What the fuck did you watch when you were younger? What? Baby Van Gogh? Wait, hold up. Is this a whole movie? Oh, it's a whole episode. Hi, I'm Julie Clark. Wait, what, what part exactly? This clip in particular. You sent me a whole episode. Did you mean to do that? Oh, okay. They timestamped it. All right. Blue. You wanted to drink if the my rat's juice. Turn to blue, I toss them happy in my stew and slurp it up without a spoon and gaze out at the milky moon. He's drinking glitter. God, I wish that were me. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, I never watched Baby Van Gogh, but I've heard of it. <clears throat> All right, easy. 1968? Yo, how old are you, Allison? Light bulbs not included. My poor dad ate so much of this crap that my sister and I uh, baked that he got diabetes. Kid. I, I love my easy original commercial bake book. oven. Do you know how to work it and all? Of course, you just put the easy bake. Damn, look at that. Mix them here, and when it's done, it comes out here like this, easy as pie. And when the pie was open, the bird began to sing. My oh, easy bake oven oh, comes God. with enough mixes to make all these things. And now I can get extra mixes to make cookies. cookies. It's Kenner. It's fun. Damn, Easy Bake Oven's been around for a long fucking time. Holy shit. All right. <clears throat> what? Oh, is this just a nostalgic picture of your doggo? This was the day we brought home our Vizsla viz viz from the breeder. He fell asleep in the grass. I was five. Cute doggo photo. Nostalgic doggo photo. <clears throat> Lamb chop song that never ends. The song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Oh, no. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. That's enough, guys. Some people started singing. What the fuck is this? Kind of slaps, though. Like it kind of bangs. In it, not knowing what it was, and they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that does it. How do I turn you off? Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Okay. I don't have any.
any nostalgia for this. I've never seen this before. A, a, a few people in chat have seen it, though, apparently. And, and yes. Lamb Chops Play Along. I've never heard of that. Is this, is this different country stuff? Or maybe I just missed it. Early 90s? Oh, okay, maybe it's just, maybe it's just too old for me. Oh, it's just the 90s, okay. Gerber Life Grow Up Plan. Okay, I have Attention seen this parents and grandparents of I young have children. I seen this commercial so goddamn much, it hurts. Gerber Life is accepting applications for their affordable Grow Up Plan. The Grow Up Plan gives your child $10,000 in whole life insurance protection yeah, life now, insurance then the doubles baby. automatically to $20,000 later at no extra what? cost. Free information will be sent to parents and grandparents who call now. Help give your child a head start for just pennies a day. Don't for wait. Call now for day. free information. Call 1-800-829-8866. Call now. Jesus. <clears throat> what was that end shot? Wait, how, how do you do... Attention parents and grandparents of young children. Gerber... Wait, how do you? There we go. Okay. I can't even skip to the frame. <clears throat> All right, that's weird. Anyway, Pippi Longstocking. Oh, it's, is this the entire movie? You used to watch this movie in VHS to exhaustion to the point the VHS player ate my copy. Cap. I've never seen this movie. Movie night? Movie night? It's awesome. Guys, it is a free movie. Free movie on YouTube. This could be a good movie night. <clears throat> All right, what's next here? Goosebumps. Oh wait, no, I thought you meant the, the, okay, I thought you meant the book's Goosebump. Goosebumps for wimpy kids like me. Vampires don't wear polka dots, the adventures of the Bailey school kids. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Anyone? I remember Junie B. Jones, yeah. I remember, I, I vividly remember Junie B. Jones. Does anyone remember these? I love those books. Yes, I do. Okay. I've never seen these. Are these like like semi scary kid books? Kind of like kind of like Goosebumps basically. You got nostalgia for this? Wait, when was this made? This is eight years ago. This is eight years ago? Yeah, this is like 2013. I mean, it makes sense if they're young. It's a classic. That's a classic. Can't go wrong with that. Wait, is that gonna autoplay? Yep, okay. All right. <clears throat> oh my God, I forgot about these. Oh shit, what are these? What were these? What were they called? I mean, obviously they're suckers, but like, weren't they called something? Oh my God, I forgot about these. Are they safety suckers? It's supposed to be like you don't choke on the stick. Yeah, it was at the bank because I my mom worked at a bank. I mean, she still does, but it, at that bank they always had these. Wait, what is this? This it's not a Tamagotchi, is it? I've never seen this. 
<clears throat> Anyone? It kind of looks like a Tamagotchi, but it's not. Anybody? I think there's a delay. Pixel Chicks? Is that what it's called? LPS? It's not Pixel Chick. Littlest Pet Shop. Oh, it's... Oh, my God. Okay. Is there that much delay on my stream? Jesus Christ. Littlest Pet Shop. Okay. Now I remember. Dude, I need to find... Should I find a commercial for that? Isn't there a commercial for that? Like a five second delay? Yeah, it's a pretty big delay. Possibly in Michigan. Only discovered it during the pandemic because of TikTok, but I'm glad I watched it. It's 11 minutes long. They were both found dead. She must have been out of. What? What is this? This thing is insane. Got to watch it from the beginning. I'm not going to watch an 11 minute video. Do not like, I already don't like it. Just watch the full thing sometime. It's great. Her poodle one time in a microwave oven to eat it. Yeah, to eat it. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Yeah, I'm good. What the fuck is that, dude? Yeah. Yeah, I'll pass. I'll pass. What the hell did you send me? You probably recognize the perfume part. It's awesome is what it is. All right, sitting ducks. Is this a game? Yo, what are these games? Jane and the Dragon? What is this? What what kind of bootleg movie is this? <clears throat> Canadian? Oh, okay. Growing up creepy. So are these just Canadian shows? That show fucks. Yeah, the robot, dude. My sister had like multiple of these, the little eye dog. I thought that was the coolest shit. I think they, I remember this one too. Did it flip? I feel like it flipped. Specifically remember having these two robot dogs named one Bob and one Billy. Is this the one that flips? Shut up. Move. It had a bone? I don't remember the bone. Yeah? Okay. Wait, what is this? Betty Rap? Oh, gravity works. I'm a nocturnal placental flying mammal, a member of the family of pterodidae or pterodidnae. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm a bat! <laughs> yes, I am! And they used to call me Batty. Wait, what is this from? Batty Coda. Nice to meet you. Bonjour. Robin Williams. And where are you from? Burn goalie? I just blew in from a biology lab. I'm back and I'm flapping free. Let me tell you a story and it's all about... <laughs> I've never seen Fern goalie. <laughs> Yo, the name is Patty. The logic is erratic. Potato in a jacket. Toys in the attic. I rock and I. 
Robin Williams rapping? Yo! All of our cosmetics are non carcinogenic. Dude, we have so many movie night ideas now. Fern Gully, that other one. <clears throat> Alright, this is my favorite show on Cartoon Network, hands down, that got canceled on its second season due to lack of a toy line. This was made by the same guy who did Samurai Jack and Dexter's Lab, and more recently, Hotel Transylvania. Love the shit out of the show. It had great action, a great story, it seemed to go darker themes in some episode, but for a teenager like me at the time it aired, it was perfect. So I highly recommend watching it. Symbiotic Titan. I've been recommended this one. I I've been recommended to... To talk about this before. No, father, I won't go. Find the princess and destroy. Okay, I could, I could see the, the Samurai Jack, art style. Once and for all. This planet is called Earth. Your father sent us here for a reason. We must keep you safe. Get her out of here now. Okay, wait, it's, I think I remember Stop. this. Stop, they're humanoid. This is to be our new home. Before your age, attend high schools. What a perfect hiding place. What is that? Okay, wait, yeah, okay, I remember, I, re I do remember this. I do remember this. Oh no. They followed us here. What do we do? Engage a symbiotic titan. Authorities are looking for any information leading to the identity of the Titan. Incredible. Symbiotic Titan. Ben 10 New with series Max. coming yeah. to Fridays in September. I remember, I think I watched a few episodes of this. It looks, it looks kind of familiar. It does seem like a show that would get canceled though. It's kind of like Teen Titans. Cringe. Teen Titans was such a good fucking show. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. One, two, three, four. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. I got Reese's Puffs in my bowl. Wow. Nowadays on cruise control. Wow. I got Reese's Puffs in my bowl. And just like that, I'm on a roll. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Peanut butter, chocolate flavor. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. In the AM. The flavor I savor. Peanut butter and chocolate too. You know Damn, dude. I, I never heard the whole thing. I never heard the whole thing. Yeah, I want to see the actual like commercial commercial. I remember the kid with the with the bowl dancing and shit. Cabin boy. Thought this movie was a fever dream? Touchstone Pictures presents... Here's how a harem girl dances. Okay, well, uh, thank you for that. Whatever that was. The motion picture that's so big... So, uh, so charming... I'm at my window. Anyone? <laughs> so manly... <sighs> I've never it's seen this one. Classic for all generations. Perhaps. You've been like the never seen it, no? Grandfather I never had. Cabin Boy. They'll come in. <laughs> It's the story of a boy and his love affair with the sea. This moron got on the wrong boat. <laughs> now he's getting a taste of the sea. Yes, great life. movie. Is kind of familiar. Safe to drink seawater. That's a new one to me. It's the most amazing journey ever. Okay, moron, you go stand in the bow and let us know when we're coming close to ice. Okay, you hit one. He never dreamed where the winds of fortune would blow him. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hands of fate. Come on over here, honey. Would grab him. These pipes are clean. Touchstone pictures. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Most creative movie scenes from the borrowers. I also used to be obsessed with this movie as well. As honey, I shrunk the kids. It was so cool to me. The Borrowers. I don't remember the Borrowers. How are you? 
Wait, is this is this supposed to be Honey I Shrunk the Kids? What are you doing? Or is it just similar? What about the ice cream? We should must be around here somewhere. No shrunken. I sort of remember this. They're tiny fellas. The littles. They're just, oh, they're just tiny people. That's all it is. The British movie. Yeah, I've never seen this one. What is this? My first two records I got on my 17th birthday. Electric Light Orchestra and the Beatles. I also went on Route 66 for my senior trip with my family, staying on my 18th birthday. Is that like a historical motel? I've never been on Route 66, so I wouldn't know. Bring it back memories. Also watch Stampy Cat and GMM a lot as a kid. Good mythical morning, I assume. Also in the motel sign in place, I got asked, uh, I got to ask the owner about the history of the town, Kingman, and I got some history from him I didn't know about, which was cool. People should take Route 66 once in their lifetime, because it's really fun. That's awesome. That's awesome. I've never been on Route 66. That's a cool Beatles cake. Just Minecraft? The first mobile game I got on my iPod, me and my brother would build bases out of Lapis, which we thought was solid water. We thought, uh, also thought crafting tables were cargo for some reason. I was six, I'm turning 17 tomorrow. Dude, just the original Minecraft in general. Huge nostalgia, open season. I've been actually meaning to review this one was one of the my most favorite movies growing up. I loved it so much, just that warm, homey feeling I get from the forest town setting. Simple yet beautiful art style, it never fails to make me laugh and cry. This one's a classic. I've been meaning to do open season. I need to sometime. I swear I thought you did a review on it? No. I would remember. This was my absolute favorite toy when I was a child. I just recently got another one for my 24th birthday. What is this? V Vimgo? There is a cool new virtual pet. Vimigo is its name, though. Get your puppy, watch it grow. They take him with you on the go. And treat him, feed him, care for them. Even share him with your friends. And take it home and So it's just a Tamagotchi, basically. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, yo, that's like... That's futuristic for that time. This is, this is basically the Switch. This is the switch before a switch. To begin, who's gonna be your new best friend? V M I G O V M I G O V M I G O V M I G O V M I G O V M I G O Batteries not included. Each sold separately. I've never heard of that. I remember this. The OG switch. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. Oh, you actually have it. Yo, that's crazy. Man, just like, just the thinking about having so much entertainment out of, out of this, like, look at this. You can barely even see it. That's insanity. Rayman Legends. Rayman. I, 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 I know all the Rayman stuff, so. I was a friend, uh, I was a fiend for these games growing up between the Xbox 360 and the Wii. I played these games. I feel like I'm the only one who knows about these games because I talk about it all the time and none of my friends will know what I'm talking about other than Guitar Hero. Dude, Rayman Legends? That's a classic. And then Rayman Raving Rabbits 2. Oh, I remember.
remember this, the Wii game. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. And then what is this? A boy in his blob? Okay, I've definitely never heard of this. I like the art style, though. Yeah, wait, hold up. The art style is actually really cool. What the hell? Yo, this actually looks awesome. <clears throat> what the fuck? New game for night streams? Yeah, this looks good. This looks like a really good indie game for 2023. Like, what the hell? What year was this? load seven years ago 2009 damn damn and then guitar hero of course guitar hero is one of those games that sounds really awful on paper like a really gimmicky simulation game and yeah i mean guitar hero is just the goat we did a guitar hero stream chat it didn't go so well i'm not as good as i thought i was Seven years ago in 2009? Yeah, I know. Can you guys believe that 2009 was seven years ago? That's crazy. Ah, uh, this Orbit commercial? I remember this. The fuck? Okay, there it goes. You son of a biscuit-eating bulldog. What the French toast? Did you think I wouldn't find out about your little doo-doo head cootie queen? Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint licker? Pickle you, cumquat! You're overreacting. No, Bill, overreacting was when I put your convertible into a wood chipper. Stinky McStink face! You Hoboken. Fabulous! New Orbit Raspberry Mint cleans- this, this is a fucking classic commercial. It's, it's even good today. It's classic. I think this is, uh, yeah, yeah, Shinchan. The one that you guys talked about earlier. Oh, yeah. And I remember, dude, this kind of, I'm not going to lie, this show creeped me out. This show kind of creeped me out. Yeah, it's uncanny. It always, it always weirded me out. Nightmares? Yeah. Oh my god, word art! Oh my god, dude, I forgot! Holy shit! Oh my god, this is like... What the hell? I completely forgot this existed. The amount of times I've used word art? Oh my god. What is this? Oh, okay, I remember. Oh, yeah, and you replaced the, oh, you replaced the tips. Oh, I remember. I remember the tips. Oh, my God. I don't, okay, what the fuck is this picture? What the hell? And then, obviously, the Nokia, and then the flip Razer phone. I, I, actually, this phone on the left, I had that one. I had that exact phone. I played Snake on it. I'm not even joking. I, that that was the game I played on this Nokia phone was Snake. Oh yeah, I remember this one. No, David. This one's a classic. Classic book. I didn't, I've never seen this one though. Skippy, Skippy John Jones. 
I mean, I assume it's in the, is it the same one? No, not the same author. <clears throat> Did anyone else ever read these books growing up? Yes. Skippy John Jones was probably my favorite book series to read in elementary school. I only, I only had no David. I didn't do the other one. Yeah, David was a piece of shit. I hated that kid. Does anyone remember this movie? Prehysteria? The world's oldest party animals. Wait a second. Wait a second here. Spelled it wrong. How do you spell it? Pre. High stare, like with a Y. Filled Family Adventure. <laughs> it's a story of two kids. One huge discovery. It must have been frozen in those eggs for ages. And a lovable bunch of prehistoric pets. The biggest terrestrial carnivore that ever lived. Guess we got the runs of the litter. There's Madonna, Paula, Hammer, Jagger. What the hell is this? <laughs> the fucking music with this is so hilarious. And of course... Say howdy. She just got kissed on the tush by the king. El Can I run? I'm gonna run that back. I'm gonna I'm gonna run that back real quick. Wait, hold. Uh, and of course... Say howdy. She just got kissed on the tush by the king. Say howdy, you just got kissed on the tush by the king. <laughs> what is this? Elvis. They're heroes from another time. In an adventure for all ages. I don't know what this is, but now I want to watch it. God, there's so many good movie night ideas, it hurts. Reboot season one. I come from the net. Through systems, people. I come from the net. Through systems, peoples, and cities. To this place. Mainframe. My format, Guardian. To men and. Okay. I remember his face. I do remember his face. Defend. To defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams. To defend them from their enemies. This fucking animation, dude. Wait, this is the first fully CGI show? Wait, for real? I can't, I mean, that makes sense. They say the- <clears throat> I remember his face. I, I don't think I watched the show though. Okay, what do we got here? This is a long one. <clears throat> All right. Are you just listing things? Okay. Hard to limit naming the amount of things I find in South like about the Secret Garden from 1993. I was born in 1995, so my mom probably played it around me ever since I was a baby. Wait a second. Okay. The scene isn't particularly nostalgic or the best scene in the movie or anything. It's just funny and short. I couldn't find any clips in YouTube that are under two minutes. No need to get a copyright claim. My favorite scene is probably Mary's Nightmare because it reminds me of myself as a tiny kid. Anyways, the aesthetic and scenery of this movie takes me to a different time and perspective. It reminds me of when cinema and film were taken seriously without being so pretentious. The music in this film is phenomenal. I have a copy of the soundtrack and could listen to it on repeat. I also have a strange addiction to uh, India, which could have been inspired by this film. All right. Here, take this one. 
Oh damn, that it, you're not lying about the poor quality. I've heard of Secret Garden though. I don't think I've seen it. Maybe I have. Yeah, I remember his face. Okay, yeah, I've seen his face. I've definitely seen that. Oh, Shaolin Showdown! Uh, I'm too embarrassed to admit how much I've spent on March from this show, but it's a hell of valuable now because it's really rare. I Okay, why? I've definitely seen this before. It's not just because of the art style, humor, and combination of Asian Western animation. So, uh, yes, I'm salty that Avatar is still putting out more merch when the show got ignored. Well, I'm sitting on some pretty juicy info. It has to do with Jermaine, and it's not good. I order you to spill your internal organs right now! What kind of sick people are you? Okay, I've seen that show before. That's a good show. Simon the Lamb intro? Just found this movie again. Also creeps me out how I remember all of it and haven't seen it since I was a little kid. If anyone else remembers this, I'd be surprised. It's not just because I was so dang young. Look like the voices to Rugrats. Timotheus, are you ready for more? Timotheus? Uh, yes, Samuel? Aren't you ready for more, Blue? Oh, uh, yes. Send it up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. No! You idiot! No. You ruined the oh, rainbow! No. Oh my god, dude, what a what a screw up. What a screw up. I've never heard of that though. Looks cute. Try to find some of my parents' VHS tapes. Most of them were packed away, but here's some that I could find. The Mummy classic, Batman Forever classic, and Stargate classic. <clears throat> those those are definitely movies that uh I've seen as a kid. I remember all of these. The Mummy actually a lot more than anything else. I feel like I've watched this a lot more than I should have when I was younger. The Mummy's the best movie ever made. I will take no arguments or other opinions. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Dara. Thank you for bringing in your two cents on that. I remember playing this at my cousin's house. Captain Crunch's Crunchling Adventure. What the f he had a game? Anyone play this masterpiece? Anybody in chat play this masterpiece? Duder. Food. Happiness. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? It's like Garfield with hair. That's terrifying. What is this? The Toy Story movies uh, we had on VHS 1 and 2 are my favorite. Seeing the origins of Woody's entire series and franchise is such a fascinating part. This clip, that's from the Woody's Roundup show in Toy Story 2. That's funny, in my opinion. The schoolhouse is finally done. What's that? Jesse and Prospector are trapped in the old abandoned mine, and Prospector just lit a stick of dynamite thinking it was a candle, and now they're about to be blown to smithereens? Mm -hmm. Ride like the wind, bullseye! Yeah. Wait, it's it's Crunchling. Wait, it's a Crunchling. Wait, what did I say? Crunchling. What did I say? Remember what I said. Just remember these delicious fucks. They aren't in stores anymore, and I dare you to find them in stock anywhere. Best granola bar. Nature Valley yogurt. Actually, I forget which. Is it Nature Valley? There is a granola bar that has yogurt on it that slaps. 
So I, I could wholeheartedly see why this would be really good. Because it was like yogurt and fruit. Yogos? Dude, I hated yogos. Wait, hold, let, let, me, let me look up yogos. Dude, I hated these. These tasted terrible. These were awful. I'm sorry, they were. They were gross. They were gross. It's just the truth. It was so, I don't know why. It was so nasty. I tried that once, never again. They're not good. Small soldiers. Wait, is this the video game or the movie? Wait, this is a soundtrack? There was a small soldier soundtrack? Wasn't gonna upload again, but I found this absolute treasure treasure at the uh the OP shop yesterday. I think Pig will find this. That is so cool. What the fuck? That's so cool. Oh, some Jack Stauber. Five nights at wait. Okay, I've seen I've seen pretty much all Jack Stauber. Um but I, I kind of, what is this? What is this? What the fuck did you send me? Yeah, I don't I don't have nostalgia this one. Yeah, this is a very 2014 looking video when Five Nights at Freddy's videos were like popping off. Dragon Ball Z Kai Nick's tunes opening. Okay. I fucking I hated Dragon Ball Z Kai because they kind of like took out so much. Now brace your but, I mean, regardless. Yourself for a so double good. premiere of Nicktoons' double brand premiere. new series, Dragon Ball Z Kai. Fight for love and glory, dude. I've never heard. I've actually never heard this one. Um, all my hobies hate Dragon Ball Z Kai. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of booty cheeks. I've tried to watch Dragon Ball Z, but just can't. I'll be honest. Watching Dragon Ball Z for the first time, like now, it's probably not good. And the reason I'm saying this is because it's like it's the OG. Right? When it comes to like a, a Western culture introducing anime, right? It's kind of like the OG once you think about it. So if you watch Dragon Ball Z now for the first time, everything's going to be cringe. Everything's going to be cliche. Uh, uh, it, it's, you know, all the filler episodes are going to be exhausting. I feel like the only way to truly love Dragon Ball Z is if you grew up on it. I, I, I honestly don't think you can thoroughly enjoy it fresh now. Moon shoes and sock em boppers, man. I wanted these so bad. Same! But there was no way my mom would get these for me. The commercials still ring in my head to this day. Sock em boppers, sock em boppers. More fun than a pillow fight. Dude, those were so good. Ankle breakers and balloon hands. 
Dude, I wanted them so bad. These moon shoes, too. Ew! Ew! Dude, I fucking hated bug juice. I've already watched all of DBZ abridged. <clears throat> bug juice is disgusting. Gross. Gross. What the f- you said- What? You said a Caesar Milan video? See, that's unsure, that's not submission. Okay. Good girl. Showdown with Holly. Damn, Caesar. Look at look at that power stance. Look at that absolute power stance. <laughs> Fuck this guy. You have to give him a moment. Because the brain is got stuck this way. Yeah. So just stay there. She didn't do that to you earlier. No, not like that. Right. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Okay. No, this is the first time I seen this behavior. Yeah. yeah. So you see, it's just a relaxation. It's, it's, it's... Seriously, fuck Caesar. Yeah, he abuses dogs. Well, I mean, yeah. And that's not really a surprise. And he's a celebrity dog. Uh, Dude, of course he's gonna abuse dog. Any any like dog or animal guru who's a celebrity, they always are awful in real life. Samurai Jack and Johnny Bravo bumper. <laughs> Dude, I I haven't seen this, but I want to see this. Oh, the laundry room! Oh my god, I remember this. Wait, I think I've seen this. Yes, I've seen this. I have seen this. Laundry, Laundry day. day. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yep. You seem to like black shirts quite a lot. And it looks like you like it in pink. Oh, I'm just saying. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> <clears throat> Such a good one. Fucking this shit, man. All right, we're going to do two more. We're going to do two more. That's it. Two more. Two more. It's, um, Do I'm you ever it. roll around on the floor like me? This kind of seems familiar. Comfy couch. It's a Canadian preschool show. I feel like I've seen this though. Why have I seen this? <clears throat> I love this show. All right, last one. Sham Wow. That's uh, this is. I mean, everybody knows this. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat, the RV. Sham Wow holds 20- Yeah, he punched a lady, didn't he? 
Shampoo? All right. At times it's weight and liquid. Look at All this. Right. It just does the Let's work. Chill out. Why do you want to work twice as hard? Doesn't trip. Doesn't make a mess. You wring it out. You wash it in the washing machine. Made in Germany. You know the Germans always make good stuff. You can cut it in half. Use one as a bath mat. Drain your dishes with. You know the Germans always make good the stuff. Other one. Use one as a towel. Olympic divers. They use it as a towel. Look at that. Completely dry. Put a wet sweater. Roll it up. It dries your sweaters. Here's some cola. Wine, coffee, cola, pet stains. Not only is the damage going to be on top. There's your mildew. That is going to smell. See that? The most of We're going to do this in real time. Look at this. Put on the spill. Turn it over without even putting any pressure. 50% of the cola right there. You follow me, camera guy? The other 50%, the color starts to come up. No one Damn. in towel is going to do that. It acts like a vacuum. And look at this. Virtually dry on the bottom. See what I'm telling you? Sham wow. You'll be saying wow every time. I can You'll be saying wow every time. I can't live without it. I just love it. Oh my gosh. I don't even buy paper towels anymore. If you're going to wash your cars or any kind of vehicle, You'd be out of your mind not to own one of these. All I can say is, Sham, wow. Wow. $20. Wow. <clears throat> All right. That's going to be it for Nostalgia Fridays. All right. We went through a lot. And you guys posted a lot. Uh, I only got through maybe half of it. So we're going to leave off at ShamWow. If you guys want to be a part of the next one, which will probably be a next Friday, make sure to post your stuff in there and we will do it. And we'll do it next week. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.